Liam and Yasmani are gonna come into the Starbucks headquarters and we are going to meet with the head of Global Coffee. You can take a peek in here if you want to. She's gonna walk them through how we find the coffee that we serve, how we test it and roast it and give it to the people who want it in our stores. The origins of your pie place and your espresso are on this table here somewhere. Got it. So everything that comes in from all over the world, we're tasting it to make sure that it's meeting our quality and then as it gets out to our roasting plants, whether it's in the US or overseas or the different markets, it's tasting as it should. Right. So you guys get here and you're just on a high all the way through? We do. Every, every day, this is how we, how we start. Yeah. Oh. Pretty impressive. Watching the professional couples we go through, what they say, 600 cups in an hour and a half? Yeah, I can't do that. I wouldn't be able to do that tasting anything. I'll be bouncing off the walls. There's a reason why they call me as main and double. <laughs> I can definitely turn the room upside down. Well, I think we're going to uh, invite you guys to have some fun and head up. We have a workshop. Thank you. Nice to you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to try a couple different coffees. What we do, cupping, it is just an industry thing that uses our taste buds to evaluate for quality. And it's a simple question that have you guys ask yourselves as you go through the cups. So you're going to taste a coffee and when we go to the next one, ask one simple question. Does it taste the same or does it taste different? That's all you need to ask. When you cup, you are going to, like I said, make as much noise as you possibly can. <laughs> so you're going to fill your spoon with coffee but you're gonna force it into your mouth. The sound you make isn't important, it's just accomplishing that of spraying it across your palate, and you. Those are some good slurps. Mm. I'm liking the sounds. But the taste changes after you go two times on here. Right? Right, because you just calibrated your taste buds in. So that first sip is kind of clearing your palate, right, right. and you go back again, and it's like, okay, now I got this, now I know what's going on. Got it. All right, let's hit that second cup. First coffee, smooth, balanced, the tip of my tongue, it's a little bit sweet, and then it's just clean. It cleans the palate and goes away. Uh, it doesn't linger super long. Sumatra, it hangs on for a bit. Now we're gonna go on to that third cup. We'll see what it does. Tastes the same or different? Different. Mm -hmm. Way lighter than the other two. Right? All right, so let's jump to this last cup. Dominican Republic. Same or different? Yeah, I mean, for me it's regular because this is what I'm used to tasting in my house. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's a, a Cuban, that area around there, where it's Cuban, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, but this is exactly what I've been using, huh. tasting in my house. Cool. This one's a little stronger, this is a little bit more acidic than this one, and then this one obviously fruity, so. Man, listen to you go. Mm -hmm. You got the notes down, it's awesome. <laughs> There's a certain taste to Hispanic coffee beans. When you, whenever you make the coffee, they kinda taste identical. So as soon as I tasted it, I knew exactly what it was, and it's taking me back to, you know, me before going to school when I was six, seven years old, and you know, my grandparents, the only breakfast you have is milk with coffee in it. So that's pretty much the one thing that popped up. It's like me sitting at a table with this. I think they did great. I think they zeroed in on some things and really hearing about Yasmani's recollection of growing up in Cuba and, and being able to taste the coffee that tasted like the one that was served at his home was really neat to hear and uh, they've got good palates, so credit to them. I enjoyed it. You get a chance to talk to some people who have uh, a lot more knowledge about coffee in the industry than I do and being able to kind of walk through their thought processes on some certain things is, is fascinating and the way they do all their beans and all the kind of the way they get it here, the way they go about it, it's just it's a fascinating thing, and it's uh, it's interesting looking at the business plan.